Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for a brand new video talking about the Montreal Canadiens. So today we're here for Habs preview. We're here to talk about the game tonight between the Montreal Canadiens and the Buffalo Sabres at the Bell Center. So yeah, before getting into the video, I invite you guys to subscribe if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with the Canadiens. I make previews like this in, for every game. I make reviews after the game. I make videos talking about rumors, talking about prospect. I make breaking news videos when a trade or a signing happen. So if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with Montreal, like I said, with the Habs, uh, I suggest you to subscribe and turn on post notification as well as the like button if you could help me get the channel out there by liking the, the, the video if you liked it. Uh, let's try and get 70 likes on this video. So yeah, the Canadians are playing against the Buffalo Sabres tonight and the Buffalo Sabres have been struggling a lot re recently. They've been scoring a lot of goals but they haven't been able to win any games. I think they, they, they lost four in a row or something like that uh, at some point recently. So yeah, they fell down the leaderboard. They're now at the bottom of the league. And uh, yeah, Tage Thompson though, Tage Thompson has been doing absolutely amazing. Same thing for Rasmus Dahlin. So I expect a game with a lot of goals because the Canadians has been scoring a lot of goals as well. Uh, I expect a, a game with a lot of goals. Uh, and the Canadians need to understand that they can't underestimate the Buffalo Sabres because they have a lot of capable players. Tage Thompson, they have uh, Alex Stuck, they have all those guys, Olofsson, they have uh, a lot of guys that can score goal and that can perform really well in the NHL. But for some reasons, it's not clicking together yet. Uh, a lot of young guys, so that's probably a reason why. But the Buffalo Sabres, for me, have a bright future, a bit like the Canadians. And they are a team that you can't underestimate. I think, in my opinion, that they are better than the Philadelphia Flyers uh, from last game. The Flyers are just better coached. So, yeah, that's my opinion. So, yeah, let's look at the lines and combinations for tonight. Um, there's a huge change in those lines. Mike Hoffman is injured. He has a lower body injury. That's why he was benched at the end of the last game. Um, he just wanted to stay on the bench to watch the rest of the game with his teammates. So he wasn't benched. He was just injured. And that's the reason why he's not playing tonight. So yeah, first line, basically the same thing for the last three weeks. And that's understandable because they've been doing amazing. It's Caulfield, Suzuki, and Kirby Doc. The second line is Uri Sofkovsky, Christian Dvorak, and Brandon Gallagher. So yeah, Sofkovsky's finally on the top six. He's going to be playing with Christian Dvorak and Brandon Gallagher. Both Christian Dvorak and Brendan Gallagher have been doing a lot better recently, so it could be interesting seeing Slavkovsky playing with those two. I would have rather seen him with Sean Monaghan and Josh Anderson because I feel like they could develop something, him and Sean Monaghan, and just put Dodonov with Dvorak and Gallagher. I think it would have been better, but it's also all right if Slavkovsky gets enough ice time, like 16, 17 minutes, like Gallagher and Dvorak are used to, to, to be getting. Uh, I'm all in to see it. I'm all in to see it if he gets more heist time. Uh, on the third line, we have Yevgeny Dodonov, Sean Monaghan, and Anderson. Like I said, I would have flipped Dodonov and Slavkovsky, but I'm not going to complain. I've been asking him to be on the, for him to be on the top six for a long time. He's now on the top six, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna complain too much. And the fourth line is Pizzetta, Evans, and Armia. Armia is back in the lineup. He was back at practice yesterday, so that was expected as well. Um, on the defense, we have Kaden Gooley, David Savar, Mike Matheson, Joel Edmondson, Jordan Harris, and Chris Weidman. So, like we thought that they were gonna do a rotation between the pair of Arbor Jackai and Kovacevic and the pair of Harris and Weidman. So, they're probably gonna do one game, one game, one game, one game, or change it depending on who they're playing. They were playing against Philadelphia, who are a physical team, so they used Jack and Kovacevic, who are a bit bigger. Tonight, they're playing the Sabres, who are scoring a lot of goals and are a fast team, so I think it's better for them to be using Harris and Weidman. So it's the first time of the season that Arbor Jacka is going to be healthy scratch, but that's all right. That's how a process works, and they're going to make a rotation, and I think that's a good solution as well. And in that sense, Jake Allen, Jake Allen um, is going to be in net for tonight's game. So those are the projected lines for 
uh, tonight. Those were the morning skate lines. It's still possible that it could change, but it rarely ha happens. Usually when the lines in morning skate are, um, are like that, it's like that in the game as well. So, uh, yeah. I expect uh, I expect a, a high scoring game with a lot of goals. Every time I say that, it finishes like two one. But all right, my prediction, prediction, like I said, high scoring game. I think that is going to be a close game, and I think that the Canadians are capable of winning this. So I'm gonna bet on the Canadians for that game. I say six to four, six to four. It's going to be five to four for Montreal. Sabres are, are going to go with for an empty netter. And then uh, the Canadians are going to score a sixth goal. I say Sofkovsky gets one. Caulfield gets two again. Suzuki gets one. And Dvorak and Monaghan. That's my prediction for the Canadians' goal. Tage Thompson is going to have a huge game as well. So, yeah, those are my predictions. Give me yours in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical Habs. And I'll see you all later tonight for a Habs review. And probably for another video at 5 today. And uh, have, an, have a good day. Enjoy the game tonight. And it's been your boy, Isma Tropical Habs, and bye-bye.